Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this quick video I want to do a flip through of my completed Sunflower Journal, which is a design theme project for Studio 28E, and I'm so excited to share this with you, I really love how it came out. There are some blank pages in it, but I'm going to call it done because I'm going to be working in it. So, um... So here it is, uh, Ode to the Sunflower is the name of the kit, and this is um, <laughs> what I have come up with. Let me untwist the tie. Okay, so um, this is a mixture of uh, mainly featuring Sherry's kit and using some lovely things that were sent to me by my friends out there. Thank you guys um, that contributed to this journal. First of all, the cover is made out of a napkin. Um, a placemat that was sent to me by my friend V. Look at that, how gorgeous that is. Now, the placemat originally had this sunflower part under it like this. So you can see it. Sorry, it's off camera there. It was under here. I cut that off with pinking shears, so it's starting to fray now a little bit. Um, and what I decided to do was I glued it. Now, none, nothing here has been sewn. I wanted to see how glue would work, which is also another reason why I'm keeping this journal to work in it. I want to see how the glue holds up. So using this uh, Beacon 3-in-1 glue, I glued this strip, which was the backing to the placemat, right? The placemat had a backing on it. It was this green fabric that I'm also using as a background on top of my mess on my desk. So I glued a tube of this green fabric and it was tricky to do because, you know, the, the headband was already a circle, so I couldn't, you know, um, undo it and put it back. So I carefully glued, you know, piece by piece the tube all around this um, headband. And if you'll see, it, 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 it'll go, you can, you know, pull it all around, which I'm going to do to get away from that pink uh, stain there. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then on top, I glued some little buttons and this little wooden piece, I think it's wood, that was sent to me in Happy Mail. Isn't that cute? And I just thought that went perfectly over the O there. So that is the cover, and it just slides on, just like, you know, any uh, elastic band. And I didn't do anything else to the cover. I just left it like that. Okay, on the inside is you're already seeing the beautiful kit right here this is part of the kit so it's this pocket and then i actually put that little um bit there on a foam i don't know if you can tell it's on a foam uh piece of foam tape so it pops up a little bit i like how that looks okay and just a little journaling card and here i'm gonna put like the title or what this book is about and when i when i finished it and all that stuff i haven't written in it yet so here we go, some more parts of the kit. And I did ink around all of the journaling cards and pieces, but I did not ink around the pages. So I just wanted to leave it like that. This is some other paper that I had in my, uh, I think that was sent to me in Happy Mail. Yeah, so was this. It's just very simple, but I glue, uh, put some of the sunflower stickers that I was gifted in there. So that's a pocket here. And I love this lace. Since the page was shorter, this wider lace was perfect because it's still just barely, you know, it doesn't stick out so much because the page was shorter. And then on this little bulk pin, I put this little piece of, this is a chipboard um, little tag, but it had a hole in it. And then I just had these little sunflower buttons that were missing their insides. <laughs> so I just put them through there. And then look how beautiful this writing space right here. And that's the belly band. I did put some of this uh, crocheted lace behind it. And then this little piece right here from the kit that stops it at the bottom. This is also from the kit. And then these little threads were what came out when I cut the placemat. So it's all the colors from the placemat are on this little these little pieces of thread. And you'll see them throughout the book here. And inside I just have some regular paper for journaling like that. So I love that belly band. And then this Rick Rack was also gifted to me, I believe. And so was this lovely card, which is some artwork, a child's artwork. And that's from the kit. Beautiful. I love how the pockets, you know, come already with the little folded tabs so that 
your pocket, you know, goes all the way in as to where you, if you just glue it on the side, like I did with this one, because that's what design, that was designed more like a tag, but I glued. So you have, you know, less real estate inside for the pocket. I mean, this is just fine, but this is really cool that you can go all the way to the end of the page, you know? And then I made this um, envelope as part of Kateri's Piano Roll Challenge. It's Piano Roll with napkin on top. Love how that came out. I cut with some of those edging scissors this paper and folded it over. That's from some wallpaper. And then look how cute, another little gifted button. Just put that up there to secure this a little bit better in the pocket. Okay. Left that blank. Oh, no. And then I tucked this little piece that was sent to me in Happy Mail in here. Okay. These are really cool. I'm going to have to do another video about it. You can't really tell. All you see is the beautiful napkin that was sent to me. But that is actually decoupaged onto a piece of this fabric. So it's really neat. It's it's like a, you know, like, like this is the fabric. And, you know, since it's not going to be worn, it's not going to be a garment or anything, it's perfect. I mean, it just it feels like a napkin, but it's got the sturdiness of a fabric. Let me see if I can, you can look under there. You can't really bend it. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I'll have to do another video on that. And then this is another pretty paper I received. I just tucked it in there. And this time, I don't have a stopper at the bottom. It's a shorter paper, so I put the paper clip on top. And this is a decorated paper clip with one of my little clusters has a sunflower and then this is just a piece of uh, wallpaper and it's just tucked in here piece another paper is gifted to me this gorgeous card I have a couple of these they were gifted to me aren't they just beautiful I mean I had to just you know let it show here in the pocket okay that's from the kit a little piece of leftover piece of Rick Rack that's from the kit gorgeous beautiful page from the kit some ledger paper again this was from the kit i cut it down a little bit so it would fit as a pocket and then these are more items that were gifted to me that's wallpaper i had this piece of wallpaper was kind of like left and i just cut around it with my pinking shears and it came out like a little stamp there well like a big stamp <laughs> that's the middle of the signature beautiful page from the kit i just had to showcase it like this so i put it in the middle and then these little buttons that were gifted to me are, um, I had enough to put a couple of little buttons in each signature. So that's that. And this is like, um, it's like a wax cord, but I'm not sure exactly. It's really thick, but it's, and gummy, but it's, um, it's really cool. It's very strong. Here's just a blank area for me to work on. Blank area here and some lovely part of the kit here. And just another deep pocket with some more papers. So this was left in the wallpaper. I just cut it. And it's wonky because, you know, I wanted to make sure I got that sunflower in there. So it, it's a nice little card there. And then this is just some stationery that I thought those little balls there looked like sunflowers. <laughs> so blank paper here. This is the, oh, So this is the back of the kit paper here. I love how that turns out. And then this is some beautiful napkin on top of um, music paper that's folded over. I ended up deciding to glue it down as a pocket. And then another one of these cards made out of wallpaper. Simple. So there's a lot of writing room in here. Just plain, uh, this is just plain scrapbooking paper. It is really white, but I'm, I'll just work with it. Oh, this is one of my favorite type of belly bands to do. I copied this from Diane Hubert on YouTube, Diane H. It's just taking two journaling cards. These two were from the kit. You glue them in the middle and then you put them like this. And then this is another little envelope that was given to me. Just tucked in here. I just love how that looks. And I did put some fabric under it at the corners. I cut with the edging scissors here. That's from the kit. This is uh, some state... Uh, copy uh, uh, printer paper that I had in my stash. I believe it was gifted to me. And then this piece of ledger paper, I had edged it. So I decided to just stuck it in here and I just folded it so that it kind of, you had, you saw those three little layers there. I thought that was pretty cool. And that's just tucked in there. Another image from the kit with a little bit of fabric sticking under it. Journaling card from the kit. And this is the back of the first signature. Oh, and of course, I didn't point out, but I had a couple of little paper clips in here. 
there. Middle signature, beautiful part from the kit. Just a little tab there. Another short page. This time I had it, you know, upside down. And then I just put a couple of little bulb pins with these little charms on there. There's a butterfly and some, oh no, that's a little flower. Not a sunflower, but I thought it was cute. Another little piece from the kit with the threads coming out and just some paper here to journal on. I, I just love how this came out. It's I think it's cute. I hope you like it too. Again, edged uh, paper there. And then this came from the kit. It was so cute. I used one of the little pieces in a page. I don't know if we passed it already. And then this was gifted to me, and I just added that little piece from the kit with the little threads. So I love how that those little threads are turning out. <laughs> Here's another more threads, and this is a piece of wallpaper. More paper that was gifted to me. This is from the calendar that I used. Also you'll see it at the end. And then some uh, washi stickers I was gifted. And it's just a little journaling card. Another piece from the kit. And another card from the kit. And another one of these gorgeous cards. This one I just left inside. And here's uh, another little piece from the kit. I hope everything's in frame here. Okay. Kit, kit. No, this is not from the kit. That is. This was gifted to me in Happy Mail. I thought it was pretty. I just stuck that in here. But I love these pockets. I'm going to have to just print me more of those. Those are so pretty. Okay, and, and the journaling cards too. And here's just a hold on, little button on a paper clip. And then beautiful piece from the kit. I was debating whether or not to keep this paper, but I did find some pieces of the kit that have a little bit of blue in it. If you see the blue hue under this and you'll see it more on the other side but and the lines are blue here so it kind of i think it just goes nicely together after all then the some more plain pages and another beautiful image from the kit look at this this is another great center page see why i had to keep this together i mean i had to showcase the whole thing it's just so pretty you know with the, the uh you know symmetrical <laughs> here and then here's a couple more buttons more plain pages and set here you go you see the blue in here i just it's pretty <laughs> some more plain pages i put, love these plain another beautiful image and then this i just wanted to do something different with these deep pockets especially because the edging that i did there didn't really show up on this side let me show you you can't really see the edging too too well there so i thought let me fold it over and then you can kind of see it so it's just kind of like Kind of like turned over when you like turn over your sheet. <laughs> and then I've got more pieces. This is left over from a calendar piece. That's from the kit. <laughs> and um, here's, this is from the kit. Lovely uh, seed packet. And then I tucked in uh, some more pages from the kit in here. Some little pieces. That's from the kit. This is a piece that printed wrong. I like my printer fed wrong, but I didn't want to waste it. So I just stuck it in here. That's from the calendar that I used. And if you saw my little video where I shared some of the things I was going to use, um, you'll see, you know, like the whole calendar page and things like that. The cute. Okay. Plain with edging here. Get back on frame. Okay belly band from the kit this was gifted to me this little piece of chipboard kind of with like the the charm there and uh, i covered the hole with a little gem but this is a piece of calendar i haven't backed it yet with paper but i'm just going to back it with you know some coffee paper or something but look how pretty that little band from the kit is there's a couple of those through here here's another little belly band that i actually cut off the side here and then I tried to fix it, so then I just put a marker here, and I said, oh, boy. So I just made it even. But I actually glued it on three sides, so it's a little shallow pocket. And I stuck some of these other pieces from the kit that I hadn't used. Because one of the pages I mentioned printed out wrong. And that might have been what happened here. So, like, my paper didn't feed right, but I still was able to use all of the little pieces on there. So I had duplicates of some, some of the stuff, and then some of them were cut off. But look at those beautiful journaling cards from the kit. Short page. This is uh, graph paper and the second signature. Here's the third signature, which is the outer papers of here are mirror images of the 
outer papers from the first signature. And plain there, some more of this paper from the kit. And then see, I had that idea to fold it over, so I did that with this paper. <laughs> Inked the edges here so you can kind of see the, the edge cutting there from the kit. This is some paper that my mom gave me. It's actually pattern paper that she uses at her job. And I just thought it was so cool. So I just left it like this. You know, stuff can be glued on here or whatever. You can even write on here. And uh, But I did folded it. And then there's this little tuck spot here. Let me put... I have another one of these little envelopes. I'll tuck it in, tuck it in here. What did I tuck in? I didn't think I glued that sunflower. Okay. There we go. Okay, plain. This is gifted to me also. I added some little fabric here. This is from the kit, and this was gifted to me. It was just a 6x6 six six that I cut in a tag shape and folded. Love all those sunflowers in there, too. This was some jelly print paper that was gifted to me. And then this is from the kit. I coffee dyed this myself. And here's another little thing from the kit with some threads. And uh, I was... I think I found this uh, paper clip in uh, at a yard sale. And then here's this. Yeah. All right. I got to hurry up because we're getting ready for work here. That was gifted to me. The middle. <laughs> Another one of these belly bands. I made this uh, for the piano roll challenge also. Fabric flip. Oh, here you can see this, how this is glued onto the fabric right there. It's cool. These are some just envelopes that are uh, clipped on here. That that little ticket was actually from like a raffle we were in. More pieces. That's from the kit. Love it. The short edge here, so on the jelly print. And then this, I made a little video on it. I got this from the AARP and I used it to put my washi on. <laughs> And we're about done. This is just a little piece left over from that wrapping paper. And here we go. And this is the other end. Oh, yeah, and I glued this gorgeous piece of wallpaper here. It's kind of a surprise. Another pocket made out of a belly band from the kit. Some more little fun things in here. Plain page and the back of the kit. And then this is uh, an envelope made out of a calendar page. And then this was a, like a puzzle box that was gifted to me. And I put another piece of the calendar page here that has this quote. And this is a writing board because this was nice, uh, a nice hard uh, piece of cardboard. Um, I'm using it as my writing board in here. And that's it. This is the back. And I love how... The, this matches kind of like end papers. And that's it. The belly band goes on top. And that is my sunflower journal. <laughs> I hope you liked, liked it. Tell me what was your favorite part. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.